Hey guys, what's up? It's me, High Power Infinity here. Just kidding, it's Joe Nation 21 here. So today, I'm going to show you basically how to make 3D text in Paint.net. First of all, you're going to need the download of the plugin required to do it. So, it's basically these ones, and I'll have to leave it in the description basically. And if you don't know how to download Paint.net plugins, uh, I made a video about that already, so. You should basically be fine and all that, so let's get into this. First thing you need to do is put some text down. You don't want to do it on a layer where there's other stuff, so you need to do it on a PNG layer, a layer that has nothing else on it. What you're going to do is put some text down. Technically, it doesn't even really have to be text. You can do it with anything, but I'd suggest text because, you know, text is going to be one of the most important things. So. Let's put some text down, uh, how about, how about this one? Yeah, so we'll put it down, let's make it, say, um, let's make it red, and let's make it say, uh, Tiger Productions. So let's make it a little bit smaller, obviously. And so, we'll put it in the center, because why not, and then go to Effects, and then Object, and outline object so we'll go here and make it a different color let's make it uh, black and we'll change the width a little bit but then what you want to do is make it angled so it's angled like this and as you can see this is where the magic starts happening it's already kind of looking 3d but you know you, you do have things to do so let's make it like this because this looks pretty good. Yeah, it's basically already 3D like this, but we'll do a couple more stuff to it to make it look even better for 3D. So, then uh, what we'll do is actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make the width a little bit less. Uh, I have an idea. So, we'll go to object, outline object again, but then we'll make it a different color this time and let's make the width a little bit smaller, but this time we'll make a different color. How about, uh, how about, like, a little bit darker red, or, uh, yeah, this brown, brownish orange, uh, yeah, well, to do it like that, then we're gonna add one more outline object, and we'll make it, obviously, uh, black this time, and so, yeah, so then you can, done on that, uh, and then, what I'm gonna do here, you don't have to do this, this is just a suggestion by me, basically. This is basically just a suggestion by me. So, we'll make uh, a drop shadow on it. It's gonna be like this, basically. And yeah, as you can see, it's uh, pretty good. So yeah, that's basically the end of the tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed. And I I'm not gonna make a tutorial on how to, you know, put the background in or anything, because that's not what the point of this video is. Just wanted to make 3D text, and yeah. So, hope you enjoyed, see ya.